Sotokato, my name is Justine, um, and I just want to be clear that everything I say today is off the record legally. <laughs> no. Um, so, I'm Justine, and um, I am a Jewish woman. I'm originally from South Africa, and alongside my um, other Jewish com comrades around the world, I probably represent one of the biggest threats to um, Israel's um, attempt to white, whitewash its crimes and represent and um, say that it represents the Jewish people, which I'm here to say that it does not. Um, <laughs> perhaps evidenced by the fact that they're currently suing me, um, trying to silence my criticism of the Israeli state. It's a great democracy that they seem to have over there, but it won't wash with New Zealanders. And I'm here to call on you guys today because a lot of people have been talking to me and they've been telling me, thank you so much for the sacrifice that you've made. And I just wanna say, um, it has been nothing, nothing, compared to the 332 Palestinian children who are currently in military detention, 180 of those without any convictions. Okay. <laughs> there is no sacrifice that I can make from New Zealand that can compare to their suffering and to their courage and bravery. And, then I, and that is why I call on every single one of us to make small sacrifices, every single small sacrifice we can make to end this occupation. And that means standing up to bullies, and that means having uncomfortable conversations, and that means respecting the boycott section and divestment movement um, against the Israeli apartheid. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just, I mean, I didn't prepare anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, I, I just think the time has come for, the, for us to, um, for the New Zealand government to take a stand. Israel's already declared that um, by voting for the uh, resolution against settlements that Israel, uh, that New Zealand um, committed an act of war, right? Uh, I'm not asking for us to commit an act of war, but I am asking for us to commit to a real and material way of standing in solidarity with Palestinians. And that means pressuring the New Zealand state to take action and to endorse BDS. It's happened in South Africa, which is where I, which is where my parents fought against the apartheid state. And I'm happy and proud to stand here in New Zealand and fight against another apartheid state. What Israel is doing is, a, is not just a problem in Israel. It represents the uh, destruction of democracy worldwide. As, much as every other country stands with Israel, they are doing their own democracy a disservice. The, the issues in Israel are issues worldwide, and they need to be um, they, need, they need to be stamped out. And the only way that you can do that is through dem a democratic, nonviolent movement, and that's what BDS stands for. So I'm asking you to take to to, to take. Don't be scared um, by their hysteria, by their lies about the BDS movement. It's time to. To, to be militant. BDS is the only way forward, and I'm and I'm asking you guys, and I'm asking the New Zealand state to stand behind us. It's time for, to take BDS mainstream. It's 2018. I, I, the occupation and the apartheid regime must fall within our lifetimes. Not one more year. Not one more child. Thank you. Thank you.